In this video, we're going to create a purchase order from a requisition. We we'll log in uh, with our username and password and we we'll select the purchasing responsibility. From the navigator, we navigate to the buyer's um, work center and we select requisitions. And then we need to search for a requisition that we created earlier on. I'm going to click on the search button and then I'm going to enter the requisition number. I'm going to search for the requisition which is 14409. Click on the go button and this will bring back my requisition for the DVD burner. I'm then going to add this requisition to my document builder and then build my purchase order from the requisition. If I click on the add button, you can now see that I can now go in here and select supplier and also the site details. The supplier I'm going to use for this requisition is called Corporate Express. So if I click on the find icon and then do a search for Corporate Express, so I'm just going to type in COR percentage, click on go, and I've got Corporate Express Office Supply. By clicking on the quick select, it automatically enters my details and also site information as well. Next, I'm going to click on the create button. And this allows me to start my, um, my creation process. I've got some information here concerning my my purchase order, which is my copper the, the sorry the header information, um, details like the terms, delivery details, and I can go into the lines tab to look at some more information about the item, um, which is my DVD burner, and I've decided that I also want to purchase some more items from. Corporate Express and if I wanted to add more lines I can click on the add five rows and that adds some more lines for me and I can enter some information in this case I want to order a DVD as well so if I enter DVD CR let me just search for my DVD percentage and see what I come up with yes I've got my DVD CR so I'm adding that to the list and it's defaulted my description. I can actually overtype my description as well if I wanted to. I'm going to put in my need by date. So I need this by the 16th of March 2010 and I can save. I can also decide that I want some quantity. I'm going to change that quantity to 10. So that I'll have some more, click on save, and that's my purchase order details being created. Once I'm happy with the information, I can click on submit. And you can also see that I've got my purchase order number, which is 6169. And this goes out for approval. And you can see, see here that my standard purchase order 6169 has been submitted for approval. Just to ha have a look at a bit of maintenance on this order, so if I click on my orders button and I can see my uncompleted orders, I can also search from here to look at my open orders, click on go, it gives me some more information and I can now see my purchase order number 6169 has now been approved and it's got a total of 800. So if I click on the order details, just want to have a look at some of the details. I can view my PO, uh, my purchase order in PDF format. I can also view acknowledgements, acquisition costs, and some other details about my purchase order. If I click on view PDF as an example, click on go, the go button, and I should be able to have a quick PDF preview of my purchase order which has been sent to the supplier Corporate Express Office Supplies and you can see some details there about my purchase order. 